This video will illustrate how to create a form template in Outlook 2010 using a form created in Excel. I'll also show you how to create a macro to open the form, then place a link on your Outlook Quick Access Toolbar that will run the macro and open the form with only one click. This should save you time if you're sending out the same message over and over. I used this process to access a while you were out form, but you can use it for any form you like. First of all, it, this is the form I created in Excel. I'm going to highlight the form and copy and paste it into a new message in Outlook. So I'm going to highlight it and click copy. Then go into a new email. And in the body of the email, I'm going to click Paste. That pastes the form in the email. Now I need to fill out the to and subject because I say, send to the same people each time. And the subject is simply going to be phone message. And this is ready to be saved as a template. That's the template that I want to come up when I click an icon. So I'll do File, Save As, and here you have some options. If you click the down arrow, you can save it as an Outlook template. And you can see that the program saves it in users, the username, app data, roaming, Microsoft templates. And I'm going to title this WYWO for while you were out and click Save. Okay, the template is saved. I can close out of this. Now, at this point, you can get to the template by going to Developer, Choose Form, and then go into the User Template area, and you'll see the template that we created right there. But I have a much quicker way to get to it. First, we're going to create a macro. And to do that, we insert a module in our macro area. That will give us an area to enter the macro language. I've already created the macro language, so I'm going to copy that and paste it. And what that is saying is, first of all, the name of the macro is WYWO, and it's telling the program that the template is stored in this area, Users, Username, App Data, Roaming, Microsoft Templates. And it's also telling the program to display that template when you access the macro. Now, we're finished with that macro, and we can X out by clicking on the top right X. And that brings you back to your Microsoft Outlook. Next, we want to create an icon that will automatically, when clicked, access that macro. So we'll go to the Quick Access Toolbar, which I have chosen to display below the ribbon. So I'll right-click on that and choose Customize Quick Access Toolbar. Under Choose Commands From, I'm going to choose Macros. And there is the macro that we created. So I'll highlight that and click on Add to add it to the right side. Everything on the right side will show up on the Quick Access Toolbar. But I'm a visual person, and I want to take one look at the icon for that macro and know exactly what macro it represents. So I'm going to change that icon. To do that, I'll highlight this, go down to Modify, and here are a lot of icons I can use. But the perfect one for a phone message is the handset. So I'm going to select that, click OK, and you can see that the icon changes to a handset. So once I click OK, that will now show up on my Quick Access Toolbar. So all I need to do to show the form is to click on that 
and there's the form. It's all ready to go. All I have to do is complete the form itself, which I'll do now. Obviously that's not the right phone number. Please call and I'll put in a message. And that's ready to go. All I do is click send. It's as simple as that. Click on the icon, fill out the form, and click send.